The air crackled with anticipation. The lights shone brightly on the pitch. This was Champions League football. Feyenoord, the Dutch giants were facing Girona, the Spanish upstarts. Both teams had something to prove. The atmosphere was electric. The roar of the crowd was deafening as the teams took to the field. Feyenoord, in their iconic red and white, were eager to make their mark. Girona, in their blue and red stripes, were determined to cause an upset. The stage was set for a night of high-stakes football. The first whistle blew, and the game was on. Both teams came flying out of the blocks, eager to gain an early advantage. The ball moved quickly from end to end, as each side probed for weaknesses in the other's defense. The intensity was palpable. The opening exchanges were a whirlwind of energy and passion. Feyenoord, driven by their home crowd, attacked with purpose. Girona, however, were more than up for the challenge, defending resolutely and looking to hit on the counter. It was a fascinating tactical battle. The early pressure from Feyenoord was relentless. They moved the ball with speed and precision, their attacking players constantly switching positions to confuse the Girona defense. The crowd roared their approval with every surging run and intricate passing move. Girona, though, weathered the storm. They defended deep, absorbing the pressure and waiting for their opportunity to break. Their goalkeeper was called into action on several occasions, making a string of impressive saves to keep the scores level. Then, against the run of play, Girona struck. A swift counterattack, launched from deep inside their own half, caught Feyenoord off guard. The ball was played out wide to Girona's winger, who cut inside and unleashed a fierce shot that flew past the outstretched hand of the Feyenoord goalkeeper. The Girona players celebrated wildly, their joy echoing around the stadium. The Feyenoord fans were stunned into silence. The underdogs had drawn first blood. It was a goal that would have sent shockwaves through the Champions League. The goal seemed to jolt Feyenoord back into life. They had dominated the opening exchanges, but had been caught cold by Girona's sucker punch. Now, they needed to show their mettle, their ability to respond to adversity. The crowd, sensing their team's need for inspiration, roared their support. Feyenoord, spurred on by the noise, poured forward in search of an equalizer. They attacked with renewed vigor, their passing crisper, their movement sharper. Girona, though, defended resolutely. They had tasted blood and were determined to protect their lead. Their backline stood firm, repelling wave after wave of Feyenoord attacks. The tension was palpable. Feyenoord's pressure, however, was relentless. They continued to probe for an opening, their passing and movement stretching the Girona defense to its limits. It seemed only a matter of time before they found a way through. As the half-time whistle blew, the score remained 1-0 to Girona. The Spanish side had defended heroically, repelling everything that Feyenoord had thrown at them. They had ridden their luck at times, but their commitment and organization could not be faulted. Feyenoord, on the other hand, would have felt frustrated. They had dominated possession and created numerous chances, but they had been unable to find a way past a resolute Girona defense. Their finishing had been uncharacteristically wayward. The second half promised to be a tense affair. Feyenoord would be desperate to get back into the game, while Girona would be content to sit back and defend their lead. The tactical battle between the two coaches would be fascinating to watch. Section 5 Second Half Fireworks The second half began in much the same vein as the first had ended, with Feyenoord on the attack and Girona defending deep. The home side were clearly fired up, their every move infused with urgency. Their early pressure soon paid dividends. A surging run down the left flank by Feyenoord's winger created havoc in the Girona penalty area. His cross was met by the head of Feyenoord's striker, who powered the ball past the helpless Girona goalkeeper. The stadium erupted in a cacophony of noise as Feyenoord drew level. The goal had been coming, and it was no less than they deserved. The momentum was now firmly with the home side. Girona, though, were not finished yet. They had shown their resilience in the first half, and they would need to dig deep again if they were to get anything from this game. They made a couple of substitutions, bringing on fresh legs in an attempt to stem the Feyenoord tide. Section 6. The Drama of VAR The game was now a real end-to-end -end affair, with both sides creating chances. The tension was palpable, the atmosphere electric. Every tackle was met with a roar from the crowd, every shot with bated breath. Then, controversy struck. A Feyenoord attacker went down in the Girona penalty area under a challenge from a defender. The referee pointed to the spot, awarding Feyenoord a penalty. The Girona players were incensed, surrounding the referee to protest the decision. The referee, however, was unmoved. He had seen enough to award a penalty. The Girona players, though, were adamant that their defender had won the ball. The tension was at fever pitch. The referee, after consulting with his assistant, decided to review the incident on the pitch side monitor. 
The crowd held its breath as the referee watched the replay. After what seemed like an eternity, he made his decision. Penalty overturned. Section 7. A goal for the ages. The game continued at a frantic pace, both sides throwing everything they had at each other. Feyenoord, buoyed by the overturned penalty, were playing with renewed confidence. Girona, though, refused to buckle. Then it happened. A moment of magic that would be replayed countless times in the days to come. Feyenoord's star midfielder picked up the ball just inside the Girona half. He jinked past one defender, then another, before unleashing an unstoppable shot from 25 yards that flew past the outstretched hand of the Girona goalkeeper and into the back of the net. The stadium erupted. The Feyenoord players mobbed their teammate, their joy unconfined. The goal was a thing of beauty, a moment of individual brilliance that had settled a pulsating encounter. Section 8. Tactical Masterclass The goal seemed to knock the stuffing out of Girona. They had defended heroically for much of the game, but they had no answer to that moment of magic. Feyenoord, sensing their opportunity, continued to press forward, their passing and movement as crisp and incisive as ever. Feyenoord's coach, sensing that the game was won, made a couple of substitutions, bringing on fresh legs to see out the game. Girona, though, continued to battle, their spirit unbroken despite the scoreline. The final whistle blew, and Feyenoord had secured a hard-fought victory. It had been a pulsating encounter, full of drama and excitement. Feyenoord had shown their class, their ability to control a game and punish their opponents. Section 9. The Final Whistle Blows the final whistle blew, a symphony of relief and elation washing over De Quip. Feyenoord, in a thrilling display of grit and determination, had overcome a spirited Girona side. The 2-1 scoreline, a testament to the fierce battle that unfolded, only told part of the story. The closing moments of the match were a blur of emotions. Feyenoord, their energy reserves nearly depleted, clung onto their slender lead with unwavering resolve. Girona, their valiant efforts falling just short, fought till the very end, their spirit unbroken. As the dust settled, the magnitude of the victory began to sink in. Feyenoord had not only secured three crucial points, but had also showcased their Champions League credentials. Girona, despite the loss, could hold their heads high, their performance a testament to their growing stature in European football. Section 10. Heroes of the Match Several players shone brightly under the Dequip lights, their performances instrumental in shaping the outcome of the match. Feyenoord's goalkeeper, a towering presence between the sticks, pulled off a string of crucial saves, his agility and anticipation denying Girona on numerous occasions. Feyenoord's midfield maestro, a conductor orchestrating the attack, was at his sublime best, his vision, passing range and tactical awareness dictating the tempo of the game. His stunning long-range strike, the decisive moment of the match, encapsulated his mastery over the midfield. For Girona, their captain, a rock at the heart of the defense, led by example, his tenacity, positional awareness, and aerial prowess thwarting Feyenoord's attacking forays time and again. His performance, though on the losing side, embodied Girona's fighting spirit. Section 11. What this win means. This victory, hard-fought and well-deserved, reverberates beyond the confines of De Keep. For Feyenoord, it signifies their intent on the European stage, their ambition to compete against the continent's elite. The three points, crucial in the context of Group F, bolster their chances of progressing to the knockout stages. Furthermore, the win injects a much-needed dose of confidence into the Feyenoord camp, a testament to their resilience and ability to grind out results. It serves as a reminder of their rich European heritage, their pedigree in continental competitions. As the echoes of the final whistle fade, one thing is certain. Feyenoord, revitalized and reinvigorated, are ready to embrace the challenges that lie ahead, their Champions League journey just beginning. The roar of De Keep, a testament to their unwavering support, will continue to fuel their ambitions, their quest for European glory